Yo, Facebook world, I'm here to hang out with you because I got my lashes did. So of course, I'm going to do a Facebook Live and I owe you one, right? So here I am, sitting on my couch, I'm going to tune in, hang out, and I'm going to lean forward so I don't look like a big fat whale, but I look a little bit more badassy. Um, it says we're live, we're building an audience, so um, come and hang out. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I've got lots of fire, lots of energy for you. Um, it's like 20 past nine at night. I'm doing some hustling, having some amazing conversations. I've just been uh, pulling some more tarot cards, doing some mindset work, just getting another boost of energy before I hit the sack and get some well rested sleep um so top of the morning to you to my australian family friends and badasses on the other side of the world uh you guys are probably getting up and getting ready for a, another hot day ahead of you i've heard is like stinking hot um and if you're an aussie you will appreciate what i've seen on facey today it said um it says something about there's actually like five seasons in Australia, uh, especially I'd say like in Queensland. <laughs> there is like obviously spring, summer, um, autumn and winter and then there's fuck you, <laughs> which is like the equivalent of the sneaky surprises that the weather has for you. Hey Mel, um, because apparently it's been like fuck you hot, so hot, like sweltering and uh, you've probably been like sweating more than you're proud of. Hint, hint, if you've seen that movie. Um, but yeah, so come and join. Hello, CZ. Obviously, it's a great time for my American friends. And I don't know about you, but I, I'm not, I don't get tired right now, like, at night. I probably could. I mean, don't get me wrong if I switch off. But I do really, like, I'm not switching off until I feel like I'm... Um, I'm ready to switch off because there's a lot of great fucking things happening. Obviously, we're um, doing lots of branding. We're going international. We've decided on a company name, even though I know that I'm, you know, literally like I am my business. Like I'm the person, obviously, but I've got an amazing team um, beside me. But we've decided on an international name and we're now going to be called, our business is called uh, badass freedompreneur lifestyle, which is very exciting. So we're getting branding done and there's obviously a couple of websites. Um, so yeah, lots of really great things happening. I'm launching a new program next week, uh, called confidence breakthrough badassery, which is my first pure mindset program. And it's really interesting. I'm literally getting interest and people locking in their spots. Um, without like all the with all the technical like sales page stuff and funnel stuff and you know it just goes to show that when you're like in alignment and you're like on on point uh, with uh, you know with sharing your message obviously and, and being on purpose and being in alignment then all this fancy stuff doesn't matter like I'm not saying you're not to have a website and like fancy sales pages and funnels and all that sort of shit obviously there's like a launch process you know but I'm just saying that I'm actually getting uh, people lock in and secure their spot working with me in this amazing program um, without me actually having like sent them a sales page so I, I'll still probably do one you know um, um, of course leaving it to last minute <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah anyway it's it's really dumbfounding in a, in a good way so I'm happy and I'm super excited and of course I'll be sharing a little bit more about the program in the end uh, but I want to talk to you about the fucking secret okay uh, I'm literally getting distracted I do apologize like my messages are getting uh, crazy I'm getting messages sent um, hey Suzette hello gorgeous happy oh yes Valentine's Day of course happy Valentine's Day my beautiful lovebirds I did do a little funny uh, little snapchat this morning sending my love around um, what are we saying love the name it's so you thank you hey Robin hey my feisty feisty bad need to connect with you Brandon yes I got your message actually so I'll get back to you on that as well I'll give you the deets on that um, hey Greg hey Jackie well top of the morning as I said to my Aussie friends um, so let's have a conversation around the secret um, obviously like 
I'm doing a lot of work, mindset work, got some great mentors, got like great people in my environment right now. It's like a real like time, like a real like um era, I guess, of change. You know, obviously new year, fresh energy, people like setting goals, setting themes for this year. Uh, my theme is all around uh, having the courage to conquer. So that's my theme for me. It's about conquering into the unknown territory, um, and that means to me like going to the like going to the spaces, places, uh, and paces that I haven't been uh, giving myself permission to. Um, you know whether I've sort of been like. Not it's not because of the lack of confidence. It's probably just more like some subconscious and unconscious programming, programming and limits. Um, some money stories and some visibility stuff and a little bit of fear sneaking in. Um, and it just kind of like defines for me that mindset is everything. And it's so important to work on your blind spots, right? Hey Kelly. Hey gorgeous. Hey Maria. Hey Susanna. Oh, it's awesome for you guys to fucking hang out with me today. This is a good time. I should be doing my Facebook lives tonight. When I've got new lashes, dude, right? I don't know if you saw my post about being a diva and uh, totally not wanting to do a Facebook Live because I looked like a like a plugged chicken. Um, but you know what? It's not. It's really not about like worrying about what people think about me. It's actually just being a fucking diva and owning that. Okay. So anyway, so my lashes are done. I'm feeling sexy, badass AF as fuck. Um, so here we are. Anyway, so, you know, it goes to show that, um, hey Mel, hey Robin, yes, we'll definitely chat. It goes to show, thank you for the love, you guys are awesome. It goes to show that you really need to, like, continuously work on your blind spot. Um, and when people, like, talk to me about, you know, when is it, you know, finally going to kick in for me? And, like, you know, I will admittedly, uh, will admit that I've had that point as well. I was like, oh, when is it all going to happen for me? And uh, it, it's just like that level of impatience and knowing that you're like doing the do every single day and you're working so fucking hard and you're kind of like, where's the fruits of my labor? Like, when is it all coming in? And, and it's not just the money, it's the impact. And it's like that lifestyle, you know, like being a freedompreneur. And I'm, you know, I'm not saying that life is shit because quite frankly, life is fucking amazing. For me, things have turned around. Uh, probably the moment, you know, I decided to become a location-free hustler and stepped on a plane. Hey, Ashy, you sexy, beautiful beast. Um, you know, stepping on a plane in October to literally jet off, leave Australia behind, and the rest has been, you know, an extraordinary journey. But again, you get to this point where, you know, you, you feel impatient because you're always wanting to grow to the next level. And, you know, you're putting in so much hustle, you're putting in so much heart, um, heart, you know, heart as in heart and hard work, uh, and it's not paying off. And I get the frustration. And so it's like, you know, people asking me for the secret sauce, like, what's the fucking secret? And the thing is, it's really like, there isn't a secret. There really is like no overnight success. There is no magic bullet or like a magic formula that you can apply that all of a sudden will like get all these clients to coming and to like wanting to work with you and gets you to automatically be globally seen and you know cultivating this amazing tribe who want to buy your stuff and work with you um because they obviously you know get you trust you and like you um there is none of that it's really about you deciding that at the end of the day you're in it for life right like you're in it um exactly Exactly. Thanks, Kelly. It's the secret is there's no secret. It's all about doing the work. Exactly. It's deciding that at the end of today, you're in it for for life, right? And I get it. There, there's going to be hard times. There's going to be like frustrations. There's going to be times where you're like, you know, on the on the urge uh, of up leveling again. And at the end of the day, the challenge is there to fucking break you so that you can put yourself back together but even more badass you know more improved um so therefore it's really 
easy in that respect if you understand that, listen, you're in it for life. At the end of the day, if you won't be like living on purpose, following your calling, sharing your message, sharing your message every single day, and already actually having so much more freedom than being in a job, then what the fuck would you be doing, right? Like, if it's not this, what is it, right? So there is no alternative. The decision comes from deciding that what you're doing, like listening to your like intuition and following your, you know, your calling and deciding that you're going to live your life on purpose and really making an impact. And it doesn't matter about like whether you want to impact like millions, if you want to make multi-millions, whether you just want to, I don't know, create like a, an amazing freedom and whatever that means to you, whether it's like multiple six figure, whether it's comfy, like comfy, like a comfortable five, ten thousand dollars, whatever. It's it's not even just about like the financial um, you know, security behind it. Of course, though, money gives you more choices and you should all have like a really sexy relationship to money, eh, by the way. Um, but at the end of the day, if you've got that calling, if you've got that urge, if you've got that fire in you, if you know that you're here to to go down the path less traveled, because quite frankly, working for someone else and making them rich and making their dreams a reality is like, uh-uh, a non-negotiable. And I've been there too, because I didn't know better at the time. I didn't know that I could like have my own business and, you know, have a business based on me being me and creating my own rules. And yes, of course, there's some strategy behind it. Of course, there's like some things that we need to learn about how to run a business and how to like deliver value and how to build relationships and that sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, it, it comes back to you and committing yourself to this journey of growth. So if it's not that, then what is it? So if you decide that um, at the end of the day, this is like plan A, this is going to be a success and you're in it for life, then just show up and do the work every single day. And one of my favorite sayings used to be like, happiness doesn't happen one day. Um, it happens every single day. So again, it's the same with success. Like the secret is success doesn't happen one day. It happens every single day, every single day that you commit to show up, to go all out, you know, to connect to the world out there, online, offline, to, you know, build relationships, to share your message, to talk, you know, passionately about how you can inspire change through your services and your programs, how you can work with people, how it's like a no-brainer, um, you know, who you want to call in, like, who are you, like, your soul, you know, clients that you want to work with, how you want to do this, whether you want to do it one-to-one -one or online, like a program or whatever, on stage or whatever, right? then you're going to be doing that anyway, right? You're going to be doing that every single day. If you do that, then you're already successful and the money will come, right? The, here's what I want you um, to understand. Money is a byproduct of you making an impact and you making an impact is a byproduct of you listening and following your calling, right? Listening to your calling, stepping into your purpose, Boom, sharing and doing what you're meant to be doing is going to create an impact and that is going to create money, right? Like if you just like written this down, money is a byproduct of impact and impact is a byproduct of you stepping into your calling, happy days. We can like wrap this conversation up and I can go back to hustling, okay? <laughs> but like I said, stop chasing the secret. Stop chasing like a magic bullet. And this is not just in business, people. This is not just about making money. This is also about like health and fitness and like achieving like your ideal body shape and, you know, your ideal fitness and confidence because let's face it, it's not just about what you look like. It's all about what you want to feel. This is about like connecting to yourself and having a level of confidence and having that courage to truly like step out outside your comfort zone and go for it in life, you know, to be the best version of you. And again, that doesn't happen one day. It happens every single day, every single day that you make a commitment to do the do. And Again, I get it. It can be a little bit overwhelming if you think about all the things that you've got to be doing, right? I get it. Aren't we busy people? Who in here is like a busy person? I don't know 
any person who tells me I've got nothing to do, right? So we all are very busy, high achieving people who have a lot on their plate. You know, whether you're a mom, whether you're in a relationship, even if you're like a single badass and you've got like lots of friends, we've always got a lot to do. Uh, so the thing is, um, the thing is, what if you were to just commit to do a little bit more every single day? And this is like the good old known compound effect, right? So what if you were to like step up 1% a little bit more and do a little bit more every single day? And whether it's just like an extra 20 minutes um, doing some mindset work, an extra 20 minutes to, you know, follow up on some, you know, clients that, you know, been asking about your services. What if it's like an extra 20% of actually like chasing some customer like testimonials because of the great work that you've been doing and putting them out there when it's like an extra 20 minutes to jump on facebook live in the middle of all the work that you're doing and just like sharing something that's of importance and that's going to deliver great value so you see if you just did like an extra 20 minutes every single day um, you will get really efficient of getting more done and the compound effect will mean that over time you're going to achieve massive amount of success. Give me a like if you're with me. I'm kind of like been ranting and I can feel like, <laughs> I'm like feeling like I'm on fire uh, and I'm actually getting hot from like talking myself. Okay, let me just have a look what you guys are saying. If you got any questions, of course, ask me. The la -ba -ba -bum. Um, you make me smile today. Well, there you go. That's a bonus. Thank you. Sing, sing, sing. Yeah, I will not sing right now. I need to get more likes first. <laughs> uh, the secret is there's no secret. Right, that's it, Kelly. Uh, you know what? When I read your name, Kelly, it makes me think of Kelly Clarkson, actually, funny enough, um, who is uh, a great singer. I love her. You rock. Thanks, Amber. Let's chat. You're a great communicator. Oh, you guys are awesome. You're so kind to me today. Hey, Nolsey. Top of the morning to you. I hope you're not sweltering in the heat. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it, right? Like understand there's no fucking secret. It's about actually showing up every single day, doing what you love. And it's about taking that pressure off, like taking that pressure off, you know, worrying about, oh my God, like how much harder do I have to work to finally see the rewards? And here's another really cool thing I need you to think about. You need to analyze where this pressure is coming from. And this is obviously like going back to the mindset work because mindset work is key, right? Success is about 80% psychology, 20% strategy. And of course, hustle. You've got to be like married to the hustle. You've got to love it. Um, I would get you to really think about, I'm just going to leave you for that, like another like kind of little secret sauce actually. I would get you to think about what your driving force is for success, right? Because if you're, if you're looking to, uh, you're just like too focused on money because you're wanting to get out of survival mode or because you're looking to, you know, to get validation or self-acceptance or you're trying to prove someone wrong, you're trying to prove someone right, or you're trying to prove yourself, you know, prove it to yourself, whatever it is, you've got to be very mindful of what your motivation for success is. Hey, Fabi. Hey, Deborah. Your message's on fire. No secret. Boom. Thank you, gorgeous. Um... I should have like Alicia Keys playing in the background. This girl is on fire. Um, yeah, but like I said, I would get you to get to the root and establish and find out, hey, Tal, eh? my little uh, hashtag CF. Um, I would get you to basically, like I said, understand what your motivation for success is because this is a cool little um, metaphor that I've, uh, learned very recently and it kind of makes sense but you know sometimes you need to like read in a different context for it to kind of like click and the thing is you know we're talking about planting seeds every single day by you showing up every day doing a little bit every day right thinking about the compound effect thinking about stretching yourself figuring out how you can do a little bit more and systemize and leverage and be smart and you know have this amazing energy and flow and not feel like I have to work harder if I want to make more money Fuck that, right? Morning, Frankie. But if you talk about like fruits of labor, you got to understand that if you're acting from a wrong place, like if you're acting from, I guess, like a non-aligned place, like from a place where, you know, you're looking to make money because you're, because uh, you're actually stressed about it and you're feeling like you're, you know, in a survival type energy and you just want to like break free. Um, and I'm not saying like, you know, you're sleeping on the street type survival, but I think you know what I mean. Um, 
then be mindful what plants you're seeding. Because if you're coming from a scarcity mindset, if you're coming from a place of like um, seeking validation or getting out of survival mode, then guess what? The, the plants that you're seeding, what kind of fruits uh, is your tree going to carry? And everything obviously is going to magnify. So therefore... You need to be very, very mindful. And it's just something that I need you to examine and get to the crux of what your motivation is. Like, why do you want to be successful? Why do you want to make an impact? Why do you literally want to create a life of fun, freedom, and unlimited funds? You know, like, what is the purpose behind it? What is the message behind it? What's your calling? And I get it. Money, obviously, is great. And I'm not saying I don't do this just uh, just for fun. Of course, I do this to make a living and make a really great living, in fact, and you know, constantly up level. And it's about creating my own life of fun, freedom and unlimited funds. But again, like I said, I realized that for me, um, first of all, like you need to have a good relationship with money. I said this before and money really is an amplifier of who you are as a person. So therefore you don't need to have a shitty relationship with money because to me, if you're a great person and you're very giving and you're heart driven, which you know, all of my badass soul clients are, then money is just going to amplify that and make you an even better person because it's going to allow you to give back more. If you're an asshole, you know, on the flip side, and you're going to have more money, you're just going to be a big asshole, okay? So that's one start, like one part to money. But the second thing is, understand please, and I've said this before, that what if you were to look at money as a byproduct of you doing what you love, doing what you're great at, doing what you were like put on this earth to do, right? So if you do it, like if you looked at it that way, doesn't that fucking get you excited? Like to know that you can earn like millions by impacting millions and just based on you showing up and sharing your message every day. And of course, just, you know, hustling and getting smart about creating, uh, you know, your tribe and cultivating that and, you know, getting more visibility and that sort of stuff. And of course, you know, creating great programs and services that really get amazing results for your clients. You know, that's exciting. I don't know about you, but I find that really fucking exciting, okay? Even Suzette says, I'm married to the hustle. Yeah, I'm, like, metaphorically, I'm married to the hustle. And my man knows this as well. And God, I love him. And I want to give him, like, the biggest kudos because, you know, this year is, like, for me... It's not a do or die. It's more like a, you know, get fucking, like, get some more balls. Like I said, this for me this year is all about, you know, courage to conquer, you know, the unknown territory. And it's just because I feel like I've got a little bit too complacent with the level of success I've been having. Um, you know, not taking it for granted, but just getting complacent and just being happy and being comfortable, okay? And that's very dangerous. So this year, it's about getting out of my comfort zone and, you know, conquering unknown territory. And it means that I put in a lot of work, I put in a lot of love, a lot of energy, and I'm committing to do things, obviously, that I haven't done, and spending money and investing, you know, on a larger scale, um, and branding and all that sort of stuff, and creating, like, my business out in German and all that sort of stuff, and, you know, my man, uh, my man said to me the other day, he said, like, I feel like your work is, like, as a joke, I will say this, but he did say to me, like, I feel like your work is, like, the most important thing to you, like, it's more important to you than me, and I was like, Oh, you know, when you're kind of like hesitant and you don't want to kind of go, no, it's not. But you've got like, there is like ah, a small distinction that we need to like needs to be made. And this is a conversation I've had with a couple of my friends and one in particular who totally gets this. The thing is, I'm not saying that my work is more important to me than my relationship. Of course not. But my work is not just my work. It's literally like, like I said, it's 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 part of who I am. It's what I do. Like if I had a million dollars, you know, already now, I'd still be doing this because I fucking love it. And therefore, if I don't do this, then I'm not giving myself what I need to be like 100%, to be whole, to be functioning 100%. So if I can't do that, then I can't give 100% to my man. So therefore, you know, it's like, having both. I don't have to choose. I don't have to say like, oh, like I prefer work over my love. No way. This is my soulmate. This is like the love of my life. I'm not saying like I would give up work neither. And the good thing is I don't have to. I create my own rule. 
You know, this is like my own life. This is what I mean about creating a life of fun, freedom, and unlimited funds. You get to create your own rules, and that what makes it so exciting. And I'm saying, I know it's not always the easiest road, but it's definitely the most worth it in terms of rewards, in terms of like personal satisfaction, in terms of emotional rewards, in terms of, you know, fulfillment and all of that. And like I said, the money will come. You just got to keep showing up every single day and stop chasing the shortcut. Stop chasing a magic pill and understand that once you decide to make success your plan A and like a non-negotiable, then you're already there. Like you're halfway there. You just got to back it up with this amazing energy every single day and do what you're great at. So on that note, because mindset is obviously so important in creating success and, you know, you've heard me say this uh, before that. I don't, you know, I believe success is not about how much you do. It is all about who you are. And obviously, you know, people will tell you that success is like 80% psychology, 20% percent strategy. And of course, I'm not saying it's just about like journaling and sitting there and manifesting and visualizing and doing some beautiful I am powerful statements and then just sitting there and waiting and crickets and waiting for the money to come because the clients are like... No, it doesn't work like that. You still got to like take lots of aligned, massive action every single day, but you can have fun with it. You can take the overwhelm out of it. You can actually get more done in less amount of time. You can get greater results, <coughs> excuse me, calling in your ideal tribe clients every single day if you come from that place. So with that in mind, oh, <coughs> excuse me. With that in mind, I will take a sip of water and then I will tell you about my five-week intensive. This is the most amazing water, I have to say. I'm not a fan of, like, sparkling water. I like dead water, which is a funny term why I use. But this sparkling water is the bomb diggity. Like, it tastes delicious and it's not too much sparkle. So I don't know who this brand is. It's like a German brand. Finally, I'm finding things about Germany that I love. What I don't love is the fact that we don't have ATM machines everywhere and you do not get cash back in most of the shops, which is annoying when you're like trying to get shit done and uh, you need to have cash in your wallet. So I've learned something on that, FYI. Anyway, <laughs> back on track. So as I said, five weeks intensive called the Confidence Break, uh, the Confidence Breakthrough Badassery. We're officially starting next Monday. However, People have already locked in their spot because I'm doing some extra juicy trainings just for them. There's some cool trainings on how to sell with confidence, how to actually become a confident, uh, confident public speaking badass, um, and uh, also how to get out of the self-sabotaging cycle. So I'm going to do some extra three live trainings just for you if you join um, the Confidence Breakthrough Badassery. What is it? Can't see the label. Honestly, it's called uh, the German. <laughs> it's called Rudolf. Rudolf. Uh, probably you would say Quell or whatever. Uh, in German, it's like Rudolf Quell, uh, which means, um, oh, come on, what's the word? Like where the water comes from. I don't know. I can't even think. That's what happens when I speak German and English all the time. Anyway. Um, Yes, yeah, so the crux of the five-week program, however, is exciting because it's really going to take you through the seven stages, what I defined uh, as a framework, taking you through the seven stages of authentic confidence. And it's really about cultivating a confidence and success mindset that is honestly going to get you like feeling bulletproof. It's going to get you to feel like you're on fire and that you're unstoppable and that success is a non-fucking negotiable. So it's like creating this plan A for you um, through cultivating the right mindset. So this is not a strategy program on how to create like a sales page or how to, I don't know, cultivate a tribe or how to create a funnel or Facebook ads or whatever. It's none of that really. It's more about mindset. It's really about confidence. It's really about owning yourself. It's about going through that journey of like understanding who the fuck you are, why you've not been like uh, been breaking free out of your own self-sabotaging and self-destructing behaviors because let's face it, we all know what to do most of the time. Like if you in business, uh, you know what to do. It's like about, you know, the, the, the key to running a business, the how most of the time is super fucking easy, but yet you're not doing it. You're not doing it enough. You're not doing it consistently. You're not doing it loud enough. You're not doing it with conviction enough. And that's because you've got to get yourself out of the way. So it's really about 
I guess taking you on a journey, uh, not just through the seven levels of authentic confidence, um, which looks at, you know, communication and also community and conviction and congruency and, you know, getting conscious certainty and, you know, tapping into creativity, but it's also about taking you through a process of really, uh, self awareness through to, uh, self acceptance through to self actualization. So I feel this program honestly is like the stepping stone of giving you like the missing piece to really drive your business to the next level. Um, if you were VIP, if you choose to become a VIP, uh, you will get obviously one-on-one -on -one coaching time with me weekly. Um, and I'm going to create like a personalized healing session. So based on my obviously hypnotherapy background and NLP background and all my healing work background, um, I'm going to create like a personalized healing, which is very intuition based. And it's probably a part of me that I don't talk about a lot, but if you talk to my clients, they will all back up saying that I create an amazing safe space for amazing transformation, which just going to really speed up the results that you're going to get in your physical external world uh, but also because obviously you got access to me you get weekly coaching time of course we can talk strategy right because I'm literally here to serve you for five weeks if you don't want to be a VIP but you're still a badass wanting to work with me over the five weeks then understand that um, you're still going to get like a weekly group coaching call and obviously I'm going to be hanging out in the group with you daily okay so it's very intense from my end it's not for the faint-hearted but at the same time if you're a badass and you know you we're on the same wavelength um, or you're looking at me and you go fuck I really want some of her energy maybe not the the foul man mouth uh, and not as much swearing, but I want, you know, her confidence, her energy. I want some of that certainty. I want to be able to rock Facebook lives like she does. <coughs> then it's important to breathe. No, but then you want to join me in the in the program, okay? Like I said, uh, we're kicking off next Monday, but you need to lock in your spot beforehand if you want to grab those badass bonus trainings. Now, if you've got any questions, then let's chat offline. Uh, you can send me a message or you can pop a comment into the uh, section here. Otherwise, I'm going to love you and leave you. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are, and uh, really get you thinking about, um, you know, success, and there is no secret. I'm sorry to say, there is no secret. It's just about being you every day and rocking being a badass. So on that note, I am looking forward to tuning again, and uh, yeah, message me, we'll chat offline, and much love to you, thank you for hanging out with me, thank you for letting me be me, and uh, sharing you, uh, sharing with you my crazy energy, because life is on fire, right, bye badasses, bye!